Hi, John Zimmerman with tabletclass.com and I'm here to help you out with the slope of a line. So you're given two points, okay, and your teacher or your test or homework or quiz is saying find the slope given these two points. So how do we do this? So remember the slope m is the rise over the run, okay, and translated that means your y's, okay, these are what's going to help us calculate the um, actual rise, okay, so that's going to be in your numerator, and the run are the x's, and this is what we're going to use to calculate our, our run, okay, so how do we do this? Well, let me give you a little bit of, um, kind of a little tip here to help you not make mistakes, is underline one point, one coordinate, okay, and, and I'll show you why here in a second. All right, so the rise is going to be what? All right, it's going to be 3 minus 5. Okay, this is the difference of the y's. Okay, so we have to subtract the y's. In this case, it's going to be 3 minus 5. Now, we have to subtract the x's. So if you went and said, oh, that would be 1 minus 2, okay, because here's an x, and 1 is an x, and 2 is an x, and you went 1 minus 2, well, you'd be wrong. And that's a very, very common mistake. Now, why are you wrong? Because order makes order makes a difference when you're doing these problems. So notice I started with the three in my numerator. Okay, three minus five. So I started with this point's information first. Okay. So you also have to start with the first point's information in the denominator. Okay, understand that? So it's three minus five. So we got to be consistent. So this is going to be two minus one. All right. You also could have done it this way. All right. You could have started with this point's information first. You could have said, all right, 5 minus 3. But if I started with the 5, then I had it, then I would have to do 1 minus 2. Okay. So let's go ahead and calculate this and then we'll get our slope. Okay, so 3 minus 5 is negative 2. All right, if you didn't know that, you're probably going too fast or you have a little bit of trouble with your integers. And then 2 minus 1 is 1, so our slope is going to be negative 2. Okay, now let's see how it worked out over here. So 5 minus 3 is 2, and 1 minus 2 is going to be negative 1. All right, so once again, negative 2. All right, so quick tip here, or what gets um, students in, in trouble, 1, and this goes beyond just the basic understanding of the slope, is messing up on the order, and 2, messing up on the integers. Okay, or if there's fractions involved, they get kind of, um, you know, thrown off. All right, so hopefully this video helps you out. Listen, I want to um, ask you if this did help to rate this video and check us out at tabletclass.com. Okay, tabletclass.com. We really do have clear and understandable um, lessons, complete courses for those who, um, that need it. And uh, the feedback that we get is we really do explain math in a way that, you know, real life students like yourself will understand. Okay, and we have a 30 day free trial. So check us out. Okay, have a good day.